So what I want to talk about is the fit of a mouth column. Now, there's a lot of videos about this, and a lot of y'all already know this, and but I wanted to go over it on my page and my perspective of this. So a lot of people say a mouth call may choke them or, or cause them to gag or it's too big, so they'll buy a smaller tape mouth call. Uh, even some people want to buy a youth frame call. My experience, my opinion with a youth frame call, and this is my opinion, is there's not enough latex there to really get a, a good sound. Now, what I mean, a youth frame call is smaller, so you can always trim tape, and that's not going to affect how much latex you have, but if you get that small frame, you have a lot more narrow window for your latex. So, with that less latex, to me personally, you can't get the sound you can out of a full frame call. So, I recommend try trimming your tape first. Now, there's two ways to find the fit of a mouth call. One, you can go out and buy several different types, several different brands, and try them because some manufacturers make them smaller, some bigger. You can do that, but the cheapest way to do it is with a pair of scissors and a couple old mouth calls that you have or a couple new ones that you think you're going to use. My cut is like the standard cut for most mouth calls. So what you can do is trim your tape. Now, how you want to tell, to me, the standard for me just for yelping and cutting and all that, it it does great. Now, I have been trying to learn to gobble, and I learned that trimming a mouth call helps because with a gobble, your your, your tongue movement is moving, and, and the tape seems to get in the way. So I really can't explain that. But but what you want to do to find the fit of the mouth call is put the mouth call in first, of course. Now, you'll push it up to the roof of your mouth, and you'll kind of feel it shape to the roof of your mouth. So, like to me, that sits in there, and I can feel the tape up in the roof of my mouth. If you're feeling that tape to the back of your throat or, or over the edges of your teeth, then you can kind of feel like if it's coming over and, and you're biting on it, then you may want to trim that side up. Or if it's choking you or gagging you, then you may want to trim some of the back of it up. The best way to do is just go all the way around, is just make it a uniform cut. And always take a little bit at a time. Now, I kind of know what I want to take, but take a little bit of at a time because you can always take more off but guess what you can't add more tape back that's everyone knows that that that's ever cut a mouth call so so put it in your mouth kind of get the feel of where that is another thing is you can bite down on the call once you get it in there comfortably where you're going to use it bite down if you're feeling any of that tape on your teeth then you need to trim that if you're feeling like clumps or wrinkles in your tape like it'll be wrinkled up if you pull the call out a lot of times and it's wrinkled up like this and I wrinkled that to show you um, a lot of times it's too big because it's it's having to fold up in your mouth and, and, and that's my experience now it'll fold up some you'll get some wrinkles regardless if you use it but put it in there kind of get the feel now I've got used to this cut over the years so it fits me perfect if you want to trim it on my calls, I'm going to show you a little thing here, is you see this tab, these slants. To trim mine, now you may want to start small, kind of go from, if you're taking, you know, so much off this side, try to level it up when you go around to the other side. I kind of get to cut mine, if you want a smaller mouth call, is to start at the bend of that, where that angle is. And then I'll just make a horseshoe cut and I'll go all the way around to the other side. So before you cut it, make sure it's not at the fit you needed. It may be already and you just kind of need to practice with it a little bit. I see I'm blowing that call. I'm not getting any hissing sound. If you're getting a hissing sound, like a, a sputtering, like kind of like, you know, I don't want to be gross, but spit kind of, you'll hear that air, that your airflow, either the call is, is too big or too small. A lot of times it's too big and it's not sealing off in your mouth and you're getting that, that overflow of air just where it can't seal off the call. What I mean, I'll kind of try to show you that if I can. So I'm gonna put it back farther and go here. I'm gonna put it to the side just to show you. So if, if I had too much tape on this side, which I don't, you're going here.
it'll kind of sound like that. You'll hear that like a, a spit sound. <laughs> that means your call's not sealing off. So when it seals off, I'm going to show you. Now you're going with latex because I got it. None of that sound. If I put it to where it's not sealing. You can't really hear it in here because the latex. But you're going to hear a sound like bubbling, spit. It, nasty, but that's what it is. It's Your airflow is not sealing on your call. So that's the finished product. I took this much tape off of it where I advised you, you know, told you I was going to take it off on the edges where that crease was and I just went around as close as I get it. Now you're not going to get it perfect. You're not going to get it like a tape cutter. You're going to have some offsets and that, but that's fine. With my calls, what works out good, if you can go to the edge of those eyes, a lot of times it's going to take you right around about a perfect horseshoe. Um, now, I've been calling a lot of years and just trimmed one the other day and, and I've used them before and didn't like them, but my calling's changed throughout the years. I've learned some things that I, I manipulate the call more and, and what I mean by that is I'll move it around in my mouth more to get a certain sound and I don't know if I don't like this better. I'm going to run a couple of these this year and see and, and that's somebody that's used a mouth call for years and years and years. And I, I don't have any problem with the airflow on a normal size call, but I can I can move this call around and get more sounds and, and stuff. It's easier to do that with with uh, with the tr tape trimmed. And I wanted to make one to gobble, and I noticed the the excess tape gets in the way when you're trying to make that gobble because it's a fast sound and you're moving your your tongue and your your jaw quick. So it, it kind of the tape got in the way. Um, I will say this: don't trim these too small or be careful. A lot of people run them without tape, but it's easier to get choked with a smaller call. Be careful with this, um, especially if you've not used a mouth call or, or just getting used to a mouth call. I don't recommend trimming the tape right away. So what I mean by that is don't take and, you know, you're learning a mouth call and you automatically think, well, this is just not fitting. It's too big. Run that call for a couple of weeks or a week or two and, and see if you can get used to it and see until you get proficient don't do a lot of trimming because you're going to need to learn how to get a sound out of this first then once you kind of progress and you get a little bit better then play around with cutting that call on the other hand of that if you're putting this call in your mouth right away and you're noticing it's just choking you then then at that point that's a point when you want to try to trim some tape off if it's just choking you or or coming out past your teeth or something like that then you know of course right away you want to trim it so so that's my trim call, and, and this is kind of what it sounds like. Now, this is not my cut I use a lot, so I can't run this call like I can my super hen. Um, I usually use a bat wing. I just want to show you on this call, but um, I've been trying to learn to gobble and to change that up the way I used to do it. I, I do it different now than I did before. I'll show you what it sounds like now with this trim call. trying to get the hang of it but anyway the fit of the call means a lot if it's too big in your mouth and you're not sealing it off it's not going to work right if it's too small all your air is just going to pass around it so you kind of got to play around with this don't go out and buy a bunch of different calls buy a couple calls find some old calls you got trim a little bit off at a time get it where you want it and go from there thank you all